Hi, I'm Bebo, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Dreams of Tomorrow. The future has fallen. After a mysterious decline brought humanity to the brink, the people of the future got to work on fixing the past. By sending a sequence of dreams back in time in order to give us the inspiration we need to change the future. As a dream engineer working in the distant future, you must intertwine memorable and powerful dreams in order to change the present. Catch dream fragments from the dreamscape in order to either use their abilities to help you or weave them together into a completed dream sequence that can be sent back to the past and secure victory. Dreams of Tomorrow is a competitive set collection game for one to six players about weaving dreams, manipulating action spaces, and careful timing of abilities. Can you shape a dream so powerful that it will change the world? The player who last woke up is the first player. Before the game starts, each player places one dream of their choice from the dreamscape onto their dream catcher. On each player's turn, they can move around the collective consciousness and they can take the action space that they landed on. Players move one to three spaces for free, but can pay resources of their choice to move additional spaces. The collective consciousness is an area where all of the dream engineers work together with the goal of constructing dream sequences in this area. Each player's action can affect their fellow dream engineers by giving them more resources or by manipulating how the spaces within the collective consciousness are arranged. Now let's talk about the different action spaces. There are four resource action spaces and four dream action spaces. The resource action spaces allow the player to gain hope, creativity, experience, or resources of their choice. However, all other players also gain resources when the active player lands on these action spaces. The first of the dream spaces is the catch a dream space. Go here to catch a dream from the dreamscape by using your experience. You can also clear the dreamscape by spending two resources of your choice, and then you can catch a dream from those cards that are revealed. Next is the weave a dream space. Use your creativity and hope to weave a dream from your dream catcher into your dream sequence. Only dreams in your dream sequence will add to your dream points to your final score, but you can only use the last dream abilities in your dream sequence. The final action space is the activate dream ability. Use the ability of a dream either on a player's dream catcher or at the end of their dream sequence. Other players do not receive any benefits. There's no cost to activating a dream unless the ability states a cost. These abilities can do a variety of things, like move cards in the collective consciousness to a new location or flip them over, then let you move one or two spaces, give you specific resources, change your direction as you move around the collective consciousness, or swap places with an opponent and move an additional space. Now when choosing which dream to catch from the dreamscape, there are also a few things that you'll want to keep in mind. Dream points add to your overall score at the end of the game. Matching resonance symbols will make your dream sequence more memorable and increase your dream points. Dream abilities are also definitely important as they'll give you the powers to move the collective consciousness as you want to get everywhere that you need to go. The game end is triggered when any one player gets to five dreams in a dream sequence. Players take an equal number of turns, then scores are calculated by adding the dream points from each dream into your dream sequence, then adding in the dream points from resonance in the dream sequence. Once you've played the base game a few times, there's also a troubled night mode. You can add in the nightmare who moves between the players, messing up the collective consciousness and creating havoc anywhere they travel. There's three levels of difficulty to the nightmare, so try your hardest and see if you can still achieve your goal while fighting off the notorious nightmare. There's also a robot player to play against either solo or adding it into the multiplayer game. There are three levels of difficulty here as well. Only the best engineers can win against the most difficult robot player. And that should give you a general idea of what goes on in Dreams of Tomorrow. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Be bold, play games, be you. Happy gaming.